Welcome to our reading on Lily's Adventures in the Land of Enchantment, Book 2, The Shadow King. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel to help support us. Dedicated to all the strong and courageous girls in our lives. Created by Brittany and Tyler Taggart. Text help from ChatGPT. Illustrations by Dolly. Lily stood before the Queen of the Land of Enchantment, her heart racing with excitement and fear. She had always dreamed of going on an adventure, but never expected it to be something as important as this. You must be brave, Lily, the queen said. The land of enchantment is in great danger. A dark force known as the Shadow King has emerged and is seeking to destroy our land and all who inhabit it. You have been chosen to stop him and save our land. Lily's mouth went dry. She had never faced a challenge like this before but she knew she couldn't let the land of enchantment down. She took a deep breath and nodded. I will do my best, your majesty, she said firmly. The queen smiled and handed Lily a small, intricately crafted amulet. This is the amulet of truth. It will guide you on your journey and protect you from harm, she said. You must complete three tasks in order to defeat the Shadow King. Are you ready to begin? Again, Lily nodded. She was determined to save the land of enchantment no matter what it took. The queen then gave Lily her first task. Lily needed to journey to the top of the highest mountain in the land. There she would retrieve the ancient Sword of Light, which was guarded by a fierce dragon. Lily set off on her journey, her heart full of determination. She knew this would not be easy, but she was ready for the challenge. As she climbed the mountain, she encountered many dangers and obstacles, but refused to give up. She battled fierce wolves, crossed treacherous ravines, and braved raging storms. Finally, she reached the top of the mountain and faced the dragon guarding the Sword of Light. The dragon breathed fire and roared, but Lily was not afraid. The Amulet of Truth given to her by the Queen shone bright. Through it, Lily could see the dragon for who she really was a mother pained by the loss of her only child. The dragon's son had been stolen by the Shadow King. Lily promised the dragon that if she could take the Sword of Light, she would return her child safely from the grasp of the Shadow King. The dragon agreed, and Lily drew the Sword of Light from its sheath. It sparkled brightly. Surprised, Lily gasped. She felt power running through her entire body, and knew she was fighting for that which was right. With the Sword of Light in hand, Lily returned to the Queen, ready for the next challenge. Lily stood before the Queen of the Land of Enchantment once again, beaming with pride. Lily presented the Queen with the Sword of Truth. The Queen was pleased and told Lily, By retrieving the Sword of Light, you have shown your bravery and are now ready for the second task. The Queen gave Lily her second task, to journey to the bottom of the ocean, and retrieve the Pearl of Wisdom, which was guarded by a giant sea monster. The sea monster had been created by the Shadow King to destroy the ocean creatures and cause chaos in the Land of Enchantment. Lily knew this would be an even greater challenge than the last, but was determined to succeed. The Queen gave her a rare herb that would allow her to breathe underwater. With that, she set off for the sea, her heart full of determination. As she swam through the ocean, she encountered all manner of dangers and obstacles. She avoided hungry sharks, navigated through fields of stinging jellyfish, and braved the dark, cold depths where no sunlight reached. Finally, she reached the bottom of the ocean and came face to face with a giant sea monster. The monster roared and swung its tentacles, but Lily was not afraid. She drew the Sword of Light and swung it with all her might cutting through the monster's tentacles and defeating it. As the monster puffed away into dust, a pearl dropped onto the sand before her. With the Pearl of Wisdom in hand, Lily returned to the queen, prepared for the third task. Lily stood before the queen again, tired but confident. She had already retrieved the Sword of Light and the Pearl of Wisdom, but she knew her journey was far from over. The most difficult task was still ahead. The queen gave Lily her third task, to journey to the Forbidden Forest and retrieve the Crystal of Kindness, which was guarded by a mysterious witch. 
Lily now knew the Forbidden Forest was becoming a dangerous place, full of magical creatures and untold dangers under the influence of the Shadow King, but she was determined to succeed, for the Queen had told her a secret. As she made her way through the forest, she faced many obstacles. She avoided traps set by the witch, battled fierce goblins, and braved the dark, twisted paths of the forest. Finally, she reached the witch's lair and came face to face with the witch herself. The witch cackled and swung her wand, but Lily was not afraid. She remembered the queen's words and reached into her pocket, pulling out the pearl of wisdom. She held it up and spoke the magic words, and the witch was suddenly transformed. She looked like the queen. The witch was actually the queen's twin sister, who had been under a spell cast by the Shadow King. The queen's sister wept with gratitude, thanking Lily for saving her from the grasp of the Shadow King. She then fetched the crystal of kindness out of her magic pouch and gave it to Lily. Please use this with care, the queen's sister told Lily. The Shadow King was once a good man. Maybe you can help him see that side of himself again. And so Lily set off to the queen of the land of enchantment, ready for what the three tasks had prepared her for, to confront the Shadow King. With the crystal of kindness in hand, Lily returned to the queen triumphant. The queen was pleased with Lily's success. You are now armed with the amulet of truth, the sword of light, the pearl of wisdom, and the crystal of kindness, the queen said, and are ready to confront the Shadow King. Lily knew that this would be the greatest challenge of all, but she was ready. She set off for the Shadow King's castle, her heart full of determination and courage. Lily journeyed for many hours to reach the castle of the Shadow King, encountering all manner of dangers and obstacles along the way. She battled fierce knights, crossed treacherous moats, and braved dark forest passages. She had already retrieved the Sword of Light, the Pearl of Wisdom, and had the Crystal of Kindness around her neck, but she knew that her journey was far from over. As Lily approached the castle, her heart started racing with excitement and fear. She came to the castle door, bravely pushed it open, and entered the Shadow King's lair, making her way towards the throne room. Finally, she reached the Shadow King's throne room and came face to face with the evil king himself. The Shadow King laughed and swung his sword, and Lily blocked his swing with the Sword of Light. She was no longer afraid. She stepped forward and drew the Sword of Light, her eyes fixed on the Shadow King. She held up the Amulet of Truth and could see the Shadow King for who he really was. You don't have to do this, Lily said, her voice firm. I know you were once a good man, before the darkness consumed you. You can still change your ways and turn back to the light. The Shadow King looked at Lily. His fierce gaze slowly gave way to eyes full of pain. He let out a deep sigh and lowered his sword. You are right, Lily, he said. I have let the darkness consume me. I have caused so much harm and suffering, but it is too late for me to change. Lily put the Sword of Light in its sheath at her side and slowly stepped toward the Shadow King. She took his hand and gently placed the Amulet of Truth in his palm. Look, she whispered. With tears in his eyes, the Shadow King gazed into the amulet and saw what she could see. There was still goodness inside of him. The King smiled softly. Perhaps it's not too late for me after all. I will do my best to turn from the darkness and embrace the light. Lily smiled and nodded. She knew it would not be easy for the Shadow King to change, but she believed he could do it. Together, Lily and the Shadow King worked to restore peace and happiness to the Land of Enchantment. First, they returned to the dragon and brought her child back to her. The Shadow King apologized for the pain he had caused the mother dragon. He explained how his own son had been lost, and the pain he felt was so great. It led him to turn to darkness and become the Shadow King. The mother dragon forgave the Shadow King, and something magical started to happen. The Shadow King began to glow. It was just a little at first, but he began glowing from the inside. Soon the light began spreading through his entire body, and he was completely transformed into the King of Lights. The King of Lights, 
who used to be the Shadow King, turned to Lily with tears in his eyes. Thank you, he sobbed, for helping me see that I could change and fix the wrongs I had done. Thank you. Lily then hugged the King of Lights, and together they returned to the Queen of the Land of Enchantment. Once they arrived, the Queen presented Lily with a beautiful golden crown, declaring her a hero of the Land of Enchantment. The Queen then turned to the King of Lights and said, Welcome home, little brother. Lily returned to home to her village a changed person. Full of confidence and courage, she knew that she would always be ready to defend her home and her loved ones, no matter what. Together, Lily and the King of Lights worked to maintain peace and happiness in the land of enchantment. All creatures rejoiced as the Shadow King's reign of terror came to an end, and Lily was hailed as a hero who, who helped turn the Shadow King into the King of Lights. The end of book two. Thank you for joining us on this reading of Lily's adventures in the land of enchantment. We'll see you next time.